ASMR, a series where I take, well, any number of video games or anything that, you know, you, you are not sure if it can be ASMR or not, and see if I can play it in a way that is relaxing. Today we are playing Outer Wilds, a game that is perfect for my channel, Space Age ASMR. What better than one where we actually go into space? Now I've I've beaten the main story at this point. Uh, still working on the DLC Echoes of the Eye. To, uh, we're going to do some fun exploration and I'll try not to spoil anything. So let's hop into our expedition. First thing we do <coughs> is wake up. Next to the fire, here we are on our home planet of Timber Hearth. friends are around. We got Slate. Our rocket ship is up there, but first, before we launch into space, let's take a look at our, our little planet that we call home. What better than to explore our own planet, Timber Hearth, and all of its glory. ourselves in a solar system that is not our own. A planet known for its underwater rivers and high geysers. Ah, beautiful. Oh, I love the sound of a good water wheel. say there's the sun, but I think sun or soul specifically refers to the, uh, the star at the center of our solar system. What's blocking the light? Because it's just a star. travel anywhere. We have the beautiful museum and observatory. But how about we get to our launch tower and actually take off in our spaceship? It's truly a beautiful game that, well, it gives you a slight objective, a slight nudge. Basically, there was an alien race for us, and we want to know what happened to it. And a 
as you, you basically can just explore the planets as you will, as you want, gathering notes, gathering information, and uh, finally learning the whole story. Well, before we uh, head into space, let's, it's never a bad time to roast a marshmallow. person that slowly roasts their marshmallow over the fire until it gets a, a nice golden brown? Or are you the kind of monster that sticks in the fire, lets it catch fire, blows it out, and eats it? Like some sort of monster. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm get it a nice golden brown until it's almost falling off the stick. That's the perfect. Alright, but let's go up to our our spaceship. Oh, we have all these planets out here. Oops. Uh, I, that was completely accidental. I fell off my spaceship, but uh, that, that does show an interesting feature. Look, that's strange. I I died, and it's sort of reliving some of my what I just happened in. Huh. I wake up again. I'm the back of the fire. Interesting. You always wake back up at the campfire. Flight trajectory and 
accelerating. Perfect. Let's just go in a little bit more. Get a little. Well, hey, we'll park next to this uh, fellow. a nice smooth landing. Make sure we uh, equip our uh, space shoot. Space, oh, it's a space suit. Open the hatch. And we can exit out. Ah, there's the sun. There's the interloper. You, you can always see every every planet. Oh, we're getting close to the uh, to the comet. Hello. land on that comet at some point if we wanted to. We're next to uh, another ship here. There's a uh, smoke in the distance. Another traveler. But first, let's talk about the hourglass twins. The planet that we're on, its gravity slowly sucks the sand away from uh, the ash twin. So over the course of the game, the, um, the Imper Twin, the planet that we're currently standing on, will fill up its deep canyons and crevices, will fill up with sand. Conversely, the other planet, all of its sand will slowly lower and lower until, well, there's just about no sand left. History says it always just goes back and forth for some unknown reason. The sand just goes back and forth between the two different planets. Ain't that neat? Science is fun. Let's see. We also have our, our jetpack. I see a, uh, a smoke. A smoke ring. I think I can make this jump from here to there with a jetpack and points out of gravity. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oops, ah, I hit a tree. Ah, another one of our, our our brethren. You can always track who from our home planet of Temper Hearth uh, and our uh, our space flight venture is called Outer Wilds Venture. You can always tell because. The folks from our own planet love to play music. We can actually pull out a tracker to figure out where everyone is. Someone so must be over there on on Dark Bramble. Someone's back on Dipper Hearth. We can always track different symbols. Oh, that's a pretty turn over there. Someone over on that planet. On that planet. They're everywhere. Ah, beautiful music. Hey, since we're here, one of our great passions is marshmallows. Ah, just roast it right above the fire. Ah, oh no. Oh, it's burnt so easily. Just catch it on fire again. Ship. 
Just, uh, just water everywhere. One of our friends playing is, uh, some sort of woodwind instrument.
never leaves without a campfire and some marshmallows. travel outside of the solar system, but um, you, have, you have to work with what, what you got here. <laughs> well, well, we do make it work. Where else can we explore? You can see different galaxies in the background. This game, I mean... Oops. Oh, returning to solar system. I was too far out of the solar system, apparently. <laughs> I, was, I was floating away. Um, you, know, you can really go at your own pace. And nothing stops you. I mean, even if, even if you die exploring... Of magma hit 
the surface. It causes explosions that cause the surface of the planet to break away. It's the brittle. And fall into a black hole that makes up the core of the planet. And I'm, I'm slowly being, uh, I'm trying to stay away, but it's, it's slowly sucking me in, I think. I don't want to run into the moon either. Get my ship burnt to pieces. But because this planet is constantly falling apart, there's actually a huge network of, of ruins that were built on the inside. So there's the, uh, the quantum moon, the moon that only exists when you look at it. If you, if you look away from it, it will go somewhere else. It's gone. It's now orbiting some other planet. Only exists in the, in the quantum verse, if you will. As we, we slowly back away. just exploded into this brilliant white light. Uh, we can't outrun it.
so basically part of your quest and, and, and you always wake up at the campsite back on the home of Timber Hearth next to the launch tower every time there's a like one up moon. Why does this happen? What can we do about it? Again, that's part of the mystery. That's the main draw, the mystery of its game. Everything resets. side than it is on the outside. This is a strange, strange place where it's easy to get lost. Pick me up, I'm 
of scared. You could try not to get hope hopelessly lost. But I, uh, I think we've already gone in too deep. What is that light? what missteps can await you. We'd have to just move very, very slowly so it can't detect us. But hey, if we die, nothing bad happens, right? I did rock. I ran into one of the walls. Okay, we're good. Uh, I, I think we're stuck in Dark Bramble. I don't see a way out. So we'll listen to the ASMR of a giant fish breathing. Don't put up any time they get stuck. Oh, my, my map's not working. Unable to pinpoint location. Uh-oh. If we ever get stuck... We don't have to wait 22 minutes for the sun to explode again. We can actually just meditate until the next loop. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we basically accept our fate. until the sun inevitably explodes. It takes us back. And we're back at the campfire. Hello, Quantum Moon. Goodbye, Quantum Moon. Well, that is... I guess. Um, you can explore at your own pace and take as many 22 minute segments as you want. Explore fast, explore slow. If you want to jump into the lava, go ahead. If I want to go down there and hop into a geyser, Myself killed. That's no problem. We can have fun with it. Yeah. I want to get launched up by a geyser. Wow. Oh, dude, it's a weird fist. 
physics glitch. I hit the edge of this and kept going, so I, I survived. Well, I was, I was just gonna show how it's fine to die. <laughs> Quite right. Um, <laughs> but let's let's go back. Let's go back to the fire. What's all about? When it doze off, let time pass. Think I do a specific moment of the of the cycle. You absolutely can. Take your time. Explore. Learn the secrets and intricacies of each planet and the history as you solve the mystery. I love, I love mystery games. As you slowly, slowly understand what's going on. And it's, it's beautiful. It's calming. Each planet is just so absolutely unique. It has its own story. It's perfect. So, the Outer Wilds is amazing for ASMR and perfect for this channel. Space Age ASMR, if you love exploring space, you've got a whole solar system to, 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 uh, to explore. Get out there and have fun. Some relaxing fun. Now, I'm just gonna roast uh, one more marshmallow as I say goodbye. So, goodbye, my friends. <laughs>